Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome to today's energetic, low impact cardio workout. Now let's get ourselves warmed up here. Just gently pressing the heel into the floor and bringing in the arms to gradually warm up the body. Okay, now let me tell you a little bit about today's workout. So we are doing a triplet. So I haven't done a triplet in a long time. So we're bringing back one today. So that just means we're doing three exercises and repeating them three times and there's three sets. So just think of all the threes here today. Okay, so starting off with set one, three exercises, repeating them three times and then we move on to set two and then set three. Now, I'm doing this body weight, but you can add a light pair of weights if you want to. But just be aware with the triplets, there's a little bit more volume put on the muscles, the muscles because you are repeating the rounds three times, okay? So you can add a light pair if you, you're feeling energetic today or you just feel like doing a little bit of weights with your workout. All right, let's lift those arms out to the side. Good, move off the spot if you like. I'm leaving it at a work interval of 45 seconds today and that's 15 seconds to have a little rest. Just begin because of the fact that we're repeating it three times, okay? All right, you can always add on to that work time if you want to, if you feel 15 seconds is too much for you. All right, let's reach over the head and over and over. Nice stretch now for the torso. It's good, feeling the rib cage starting to lengthen out a little bit now. Good, and reach and reach, good. Nice and long, keep your body nice and long. Keep, think about your head going really tall up to the ceiling. That's good. Let's do 10 seconds, good, and five, good, four, and three, two. Now hold your spot here, we'll do a little march, we'll stretch out the glutes and work into the hip flexors. Good, again, keep those shoulders down and away from the earlobes. Gently retract your shoulder blades there, just gently bring them towards each other at the back there, retraction. Now bring your knees up a little higher if you can, so you'll work more into the flexors, stretch out those glutes a little bit more. Punch up, punch out, I should say, punch out, punch. Great. Now really put some power into your punches. That's it, even in the warm up, let's get that heart rate up. Good work. And push forward, push, punch, punch, good. Now, can you go up over your head if you can't, or you just feel it brings up the heart rate too soon for you? Stay out front. Come on, drive those arms up to the sky. Punch out, punch, punch. Well done. 10 seconds to go. Ooh, feeling fatigue coming into those arms. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now let's step it out to the side, both legs. Step, step. Good, and reach up and down, reach up and down. That's it, try and coordinate those arms with the legs. Do little reaches up here. Again, if you feel the heart rate's coming too high too soon, or you just don't have that mobility. Reach it up, good, step and reach. Try and coordinate here like with the arms. So once the leg comes out, reach up and then down. That's it, good. Well done. So because we've got three exercises to repeat three times here, it makes set one or set A nine minutes. So the overall workout will be 27 minutes. Okay, so it's a bit of a longer one here today. So just keep that in mind as well. And two more. And last one. Let's go back to the, they would do toe taps this time, okay? Tapping out, tapping out with the toe. That's it, good. So we start with heel digs, we take it into some little toe taps here. Nice little dan dancey move here. Tap it out, tap it out. Rest out those shoulders, bring the heart rate down a little bit. It might have come up quite high there with the arms above the head there, the last move. Good, and tap, tap. Move across the room if you like. If you don't have the space, you can stay on the spot. Good, and tap. Well done, let's push back now when we get the triceps and the front of the shoulder stretched out. A Little bit of work into the back of the arm. 
push back good if you like to do your workouts in the morning you might feel like this part of your body is quite tight after being asleep all night so let's just bring in a little bit of mobility for the upper half that's it good let's change up now in 10 seconds push back that's it really feel getting a bit loose as the seconds go by good now I want you to hold your feet stationary for me in four and three two and one now hold the feet stationary good we'll do some little squat thrusters great exercise just to wake up the body as a whole getting every muscle awake for us and push and press breathe out the air send the tailbone down keep the chest upright for me good you don't have to go down really deep just a little squat to wake up those legs great and push well done let's do four and three two now we're going to circle the arm tap out the floor little move here if you find these big arm moves over the head are too much for you love to do this one in the warm-up really does help to open the chest stretch out the shoulders good keep that head upright for me now let's go the other way round and around good work keep going come on swim those arms that's it try and make the move as big as you possibly can good and four and three two and one all right let's take it back to a march just to gradually bring the heart rate down okay now we're starting off with a squat thruster i want to get you to change this into a nice stationary walk i really do like to include them in my warm-ups because we don't want to leave out the calves and we want to get the ankles warmed up too now we're starting off with a squat thruster so we've warmed that up nicely just there and we're going to add on two knee raises to it so keep going with that and i'll just show you the three exercises coming up so we're starting with a squat thruster for two and then knee raise for two okay so two little thrusters and two knee raises then we're just into a regular old leg curl for the hamstrings and then we're going to crisscross the arms so they're lovely exercises with weights but again just reminding you that we're doing three rounds of it and then we have our arm slam center and then over to the right center and over to the left okay and that's the first set of three moves okay three times we repeat it right let's get going okay enjoy yourself have some water handy if you need it all right now let me start that okay so i don't have a water break included today because just the nature of this format of this this uh, workout today but you can always pause the video and have a little drink if you feel like you need it okay right let's get ourselves into position we're going to start with squat thruster for two one two knee knee good and reach sit and reach knee knee sit down and reach for two knee knee good sit and reach knee knee that's it get that air out draw that knee up and you can take up the pace if you really want to get the heart rate up good sit down for two knee and knee sit and reach and draw that knee up for two come on, keep going well done okay now this leg curl is coming next crisscrossing the arms if you want a full minute join me now if you need that little rest you can take it okay heart rate's up already right there we go come on let's do this together kick your bottom there bring your heel up towards your bum you don't have to actually kick it unless you're really flexible there good now draw those arms those elbows right back behind you pull them back good you can move off the spot with this go forward and back keep breathing for me come on that's it get your heart rate up there train those heart and lungs pull back that's it you can bring your hands higher if you want to 
Good, that'll bring the heart rate up even more. So the higher those arms go, the more you'll get your heart rate up. Good, arm slams next. Kick it out. Well done. Okay, now we're into the arm slam. Center, over to the right. Back to the center, over to the left. Now I like to come back to the center with this exercise. Starting position, reach up, down. I like to come to the center here. I just really think it helps the back. Good. Imagine you've got a heavy medicine ball or a kettlebell or a dumbbell in your hand. Maybe you do. If you are going with weights today, great job. Good. I'm feeling it already, just body weight. Now slow it down if you feel it's just a little bit too fast for you. Take your time with it. Slice, slice off five, 10 seconds from the 45 seconds if you do need a little bit of extra rest time, that's fine. Just finish up a little earlier. Good. And over. And over. Well done, okay. Now we're back to exercise one, which is a squat thruster for two and two knee raises. Okay, march it out just to keep the heart rate elevated a little bit. That's it. Ready, sit and reach and again and one and two. Good. Sit and reach and one and two. Good. Sit down, stretch up and knee and knee. And don't forget you can get some great tummy work with those knees driving forward, just slightly bringing that rib cage down to meet the knee. Good. One and two. Breathe it out, breathe it in. Good. It's hard to get the breathing with this one today. It's kind of fast, this move anyway. And one, and two, and reach, and reach. Good work. Okay, if you need a little marching break, take that, that's fine. We've got our leg curls coming. Raring to go, the energy's starting to flow now. I was very sluggish at the beginning. <laughs> Okay, I don't mind telling you. All right, kick it out, kick it out. And crisscross the arms. Now you can stay down, keep the arms in front of your tummy there. If you want to keep that heart rate elevated somewhat, but not raise it up too high. We can go right up above your head here. That's good. And that'll really get that heart rate up. And you can just work your way down, work your way up. That's it, good. Don't forget your hamstrings. Feel the hamstrings, back of your thigh contracting there. Great, and reach, shampoo. Draw those elbows back. Good work, well done, okay. Now we're into arm slams. Okay, it comes around really quickly. March it out, catch your breath a little bit, good. Let's open those legs and be ready. Reach up, starting position, slam down. And over to the right. Center. Now when you're coming down into that slam, gotta make sure your tailbone is heading to the floor. Bend your knees slightly. Keep your chest upright. So there's actually very, very little movement going on in the spine here. The move is coming really from the hips and the, the knees. Good. That's it. Still, it's quite stationary, but you'll get your heart rate up because arms are reaching above the head. Those big leg and bum muscles are working hard. That's it, we're just there. One more round of it, then we move on to set two. Good work, six minutes in, okay. Ooh, is your heart rate up? Mine sure is, okay. Squat thruster, take a breath. Good, let's get ready. Open up those legs for me. Sit for two, that's it. And knee, and knee. And just repeat, just the nature of repeating exercises just brings that heart rate up that little bit more. So don't be alarmed if you see, you feel like you're a little bit more breathless with this one today. Good, sit for two, up and up. Sit and reach. Good work, one, two, and reach, and reach, one, 
and two good work come on you can do it keep going with it you've reached set three sorry uh, round three i should say already round three already my goodness the mind is very occupied so time goes fast all right can you remember what's next this is a good memory game leg curls crisscross the arms all right let's go let's feel the hamstrings working a little bit here drawing that heel up to your bum that's it good now retract the shoulder blades that's it draw them uh, together there behind you we did that in the warm-up as well so we're kind of used to that good now up over your head if you want to get a high heart rate work down in front of your body if you want to keep it moderate or down a bit lower good well done pull right back there feel those posture muscles working once the hands are down low and you're drawing the elbows back you really feel the posture muscles working there just there now good work okay now we're into the last exercise of set one arm slams okay open up those legs get ready reach up high keep the feet moving let's go and over slam down over now we're heading into set two now we've got three exercises same format as set one repeat it twice sorry three times good and this, we're starting off with squat and clap under the legs now i say squat it's really just a little tiny little seat little bouncy ballistic move good and over come on you can do it keeping that chest high look forward good work that was a fast and furious set one no doubt set two will be the same just there now and over well done okay have a little marching break so we're going to squat little seat clap under the hands now if you can't clap under your legs oh that's feeling tight for me this morning just tap out your knee okay all right it's difficult first thing in the morning okay let's go and down good sit down and clap sit down and clap i'm sure by the time i've done it when i get to three round three i feel my lower back is responding a bit better good just tap out that knee if you're really struggling getting your hands underneath that's good and under sit and under we've got a reverse heel taps next i love the next exercise good and yeah, another another one for the hamstrings well done we get one more in here good and there we go okay reverse heel tap so you're just going to tap out your heel reach up to the ceiling okay have a little marching break you might feel your heart rate's quite high with this workout today i know mine's up feels quite elevated today all right and reach 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 good work punch out the ceiling for me come on you can do it punch punch keep going that's it long arm right up to the ceiling that's it you're doing great and reach up and reach come on you can do this just do a little moves if you feel like your heart rate's just way too high at this stage we're just there we're into our last 10 seconds now we've got some pendulum next and some chest openers who we'll keep the arms down lower for for the next move good and there you go so pendulum open up nice and wide okay all right I have a little marching break with you okay let's get ready start off with the legs try not to lean too far to the side switch on those core muscles that's it now open the chest come on let's hear your big claps stretch out that's it stretch out that chest for me feeling a lovely stretch the front of the shoulders good come on you can do it squeeze you've got two sponges attached just there at the hips squeeze it out good work 
Can you bring your side leg lift a little higher without leaning too far over? Switch on the core muscles. We are just there. Let's go back to squat and clap under the legs. And this is where it gets very mentally challenging. You know you've got to repeat that all again. Okay, mental clap on. Body's done it once, it's going to do it again. Okay, that's it, keep going. Little seat, clap under the legs or tap out your knee. Let's go. Squat. Good. First two are always a little bit strange looking and then we get into it. Good. And clap. Sit down and clap. Sit your bum down and clap. Great. Clap it out. Send that tailbone down for me now, not your chest. Keep that chest up. Slow it down if you feel you need help with technique. Good. Take your time. Well done. And clap. Wonderful mobility move, this one. Just there now. We might get one more. Well done, okay, there we go. Okay, we've got those reverse heel taps. Let's march it out. Have a little moment to ourselves before we begin. Good, get that air in. Breathe it out. Okay, reverse. Good. Don't worry if you can't touch your heel there behind you. That's fine, we don't, we don't mind that. Good, punch, punch. Good. And punch. Little punches out front if you're really struggling. Good, let me get my coordination, there we go. That's it, come on, you can do it. And lift, and lift. Keep going, come on. This is a nice low impact move that will get that heart rate up for you into your last 10 seconds. And then we've got our pendulum with chest openers. Let me do it all again. Good work. Okay, well done, well done. Ooh. Take in some air, breathe it all out. Good work. Okay, let's get ourselves ready. Start with the legs. All right, here we go. Now open the chest, open. Good work. Come on, feel that chest stretching out. And clap your hands. Don't forget about your little glute medius, glute minimus there, and your hip muscles, so to speak. Squeeze the water out of the sponges. Well done. Come on, you can do this. Push through. Nearly done now with round two, set two. Good, come on, keep going. Just there. Last few seconds. Good. Work, you made it. Well done. Now, set uh, round three. Okay, round three, here we go. We need to forget where we're at. All right, let's go for this, okay. Squat and clap under the legs. Good, now the good thing about repeating rounds is your body just really, really knows exactly what's coming up. Your form may improve. Your flexibility for that particular move definitely improves. I can feel actually the difference here now between the first round and this one. Good, sit down. So we're gonna head into set three now after the next two. Good, well done, sit down and clap. Bum down and clap. Good, no need to rush. Take your time with each part of it. Sit, stand up and getting those hands underneath. Well done. Now, reverse heel taps. Okay, a lovely fun exercise. Get that air in for me. Breathe it all out. Okay, let's go. Kick. I like to get the legs going first with this one. And punch the ceiling, come on. You can do little punches or punch out the front. See if you can get your hands to touch your heel now. You might be getting that little bit more flexible the more rounds of this that you do. It's not vital that you touch your heel though. Just keeping the body moving, getting that heart rate up. Training our heart and lungs here most definitely today. 
good and getting some mobility as well I really feel very stretched with a lot of these exercises just there now and then we're on to the pendulum chest openers good work well done last one okay excellent job all right marching there now if you want to you can go for it you don't need to have 15 seconds you don't if you don't want it okay pendulum let's go for it let's give it our all now we don't have to do it anymore chest openers come on now we're start we're going to head into set three now and we're doing wide knee raise little seat in the middle there's lots of those showing up today and then the other side wide knee raise now it's a very bouncy ballistic move going to get your heart rate up as well good and open good work i'm really focusing on those little muscles there that surround the hip they are called the glutes we don't really have hip muscles so to speak they're just an extension of the glute maximus so we have our glute maximus the one we sit on then medius and minimus just wrap around the hip okay now we're on to a wide knee raise one leg pick a leg little seat pick the other leg you don't have to go down too far with the little squat if you're feeling fatigued now at this stage okay good and up good work i think the last set is most definitely going to get that lower half really worked that's it sit down and lift sit and lift good i love this exercise it's a really fun move and lift sit and lift tailbone down try not to lean too far to the side there when the knee raise comes up and feel your obliques and some of those rectus abdominis muscles working there you can feel your abdominals working just to stop you from bending your torso to the side this is great standing ab work good well done now we've got wall balls so if you have a weight handy and you want to do a wall ball with a weight good you can see how the lower half is going to get worked now with the last set here just throw the ball or pretend you're throwing a ball up to the wall okay this is a lovely metabolic conditioning exercise it really conditions the whole body here and it's so simple sit back throw a ball at the wall catch it as you go down into your little seat good and if you want to make it harder just put a dumbbell in your hand and go for that good throw the ball keep going come on now we have a narrow squat coming next with a reach over the head well done just there last few seconds hang in with me good work well done there we go okay now we're going to reach down lovely mobility watch your back here and then we're reaching up over the head now if you're too tired for reaching over the head you can just do a front raise out out the front okay down and up front raise if you're too fatigued good so it's just like bringing it over your head is that little bit more intense it's going to increase that heart rate now i'm doing this at quite a relatively slow pace i don't have weights but if you do have weights you'll have to slow down they will naturally slow you down but if you're going body weight and you've got the energy and you feel your technique is okay you can go a little faster so you should feel your bum really sticking out behind you there like you're going to bump it off the wall good chest back stays straight chest is coming down just naturally because the legs are bending deeply but the back is staying straight and there we go okay well done good work okay now we're on to wide knee raise little seat in the middle you can leave it out if you feel like your legs are a bit fatigued at this stage and just do wide knee raise for your 45 seconds all right get ready for it so if you're tired leave out the bit in the middle and work but really focus on those abs working your tummy muscles there you want to get that little extra lower body work get in that little seat in the middle you might be able to go a little deeper good and squat it out and sorry knee raises that's it and sit down and knee sit down 
and knee. Now you should really feel the muscles here, your waist muscles working here. Good. Just squeeze it out a little bit. Lovely standing tummy work. Sit down and lift. Good. And lift. Well done. Great work. Okay. Now we have those wall balls coming next. So when you're going down, keep your back straight and throw the ball at the wall, okay? Make sure that you're keeping your back straight there. Okay, let's go for it. Tummy muscles are engaged. Sit and throw. Good. You might find your knees are bending a bit more with this round. Good. Don't worry if you can't, just a little seat will do fine. Maybe you're new here. Just introduce the exercise to your body. Just make sure your knees are tracking out over your toes there or your shoelaces. Good. Throw that ball. Come on, keep going with it. We are just there into the last few seconds. Then we're into the narrow squat. We repeat it one more time and you are done. Good work. You've done great to get here, you really have. Well done. Okay, great work. Now, the narrow squat again, just like wall ball, keeping the back straight, letting the bum stick out behind you. Let the bum go out first, like you're shooting a car door with your backside. Okay, keep the legs pretty close to each other. Reach up, good. Sit down and reach up. Remember, front raise if you're struggling with any reaches above the head. Good, and reach, sit and reach. And remember, if you take up the pace, just remember that you're taking a moment just to stick your bum out behind you. That's so important, you're doing that hip hinge. That's called a hip hinge. That protects the lower back. And up. Slow it down if you have to, just to get that right. That's one I'd like you to practice yourselves. It takes a little while to get used to that. Well done. Okay, 24 minutes. Right, we're into the last round. Can't believe we got here already. Okay, are you ready for this? Wide knee raise and sit down. Leave out the sit down if you're tired at this stage. Okay, all right. So, knee. Out to the side. Good. Little lift. Little seat. Little lift if you need to at this stage. That's fine. Come on, let's finish strong together. Even if you have to reduce your range of movement, that's fine. Good, and lift. Stay with me now, you are so close to being finished. Good work, lift up, sit down, and lift. And drive that knee up, come on, you can do this. We are just there, we're into the last five seconds. Come on, stick with it. Good, and up and down and up well done two moves left can you do it yes we can come on we can do this together okay wall balls remember to keep that back straight for me march it out don't let your heart rate drop just yet okay i know some of you are so fit out there your heart rate's dropping fast that's a really good sign that you've got good cardiovascular fitness the heart can deal with it that's it and that's what it's all about isn't it throwing a tough workout at your body every now and then it'll adapt get stronger and then when your heart rate's at rest it doesn't have to beat as fast okay and that's what gives us longevity in our lives as long as maintaining muscle by weight training and exercising in general and eating adequate amounts of protein too good Reach up, reach up, good, well done. Last move, I can't believe we're here, okay. We're on to the last move. All right, narrow squat. Oh, good work, you've done really, really well today. You should be so proud of yourself getting through a triplet. It's not easy. Good, and reach, narrow, and reach. So keep the legs pretty close to each other. And if you like today's workout, I'd appreciate a thumbs up there below the video. That really helps me to know whether you, you do like the workout and you'd like to see more. It also lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. 
that the people are liking this content and they'll push it out a little bit more and allow the channel to grow and be found by other ladies like yourself. And I'd always like to say a big thank you in advance while I have an opportunity. I'd like to say thank you for all the likes and all the comments that you send me. That's great engagement for the channel. Good and reach and we are there i'll give you a huge big clap for that workout today that was amazing oh wonderful wonderful work really feel energized after that now i don't mind like i said at the start i don't mind telling you i was very very sluggish and um, the first couple of exercises there but the body remembers we have this muscle memory and my body remembered yes come on you've done it before we'll do it again so I will link up my cool down for you, you'll find it in the description box below the video, you'll find a playlist there, lots to choose from now and just go there and spend about 10, at least 10 minutes, um, 10 to 15 minutes just working on your mobility and your flexibility. Have you found some of those moves a little tricky on your mobility? Spend some time, go and find out what you can do. I have lots of uh, cool downs there that actually work on mobility and you'll find when you come back to do your workouts that you are, they're far more doable, okay? Your body will respond so much better for you. Drink your water. I'm looking forward to a glass of water now. I know we didn't have our water break there today. So looking forward to a little bit of water now. And I'll see you in the next one. You did great. See you soon.